Black and White Network fans, we are back with another video and we're going to be doing a reaction video here today. Um, Malcolm X, Malcolm X warned black people about uh, voting for liberals, especially white liberals. Now, this video we're going to be reacting to today, man, 100 percent spot on here because Malcolm X addresses when it comes to white America. They're equally divided among political lines, but but black people tend to vote for Democrats at a 90 percent clip. And yet still, you're always complaining about you're not where you want to be. But black people have been voting for Democrat for the better part of 50 years at a 90 percent clip. And actually really kind of started with um, the New Deal. Uh, back during the uh, Roosevelt administration. But folks, if black people don't wake up now in today's age and um, stop voting for Democrats, I don't think there's going to be any hope because right now, 41 year high inflation, gas prices out of control. If you go out there and vote in the midterms for Democrats who have definitely gone so far left now, there is no hope. But, uh, Let's check out and see what Malcolm X had to say about black people voting for Democrats. 22 million black victims of Americanism are waking up and they're gaining a new political consciousness, becoming politically mature. And as they become uh, develop this political maturity, they're able to see the recent trends in these uh, political elections. They see that the whites are so evenly divided that every time they vote, uh, the race is so close, they have to go back and count the votes all over again. And that, that, which means that any block, any minority that has a block of votes that stick together is in a strategic position. Either way you go, that's who gets it. You're, you're in a position to determine who go to the White House and who stay in the doghouse. You're the one who has that power. You can keep Johnson in Washington, D.C., or you can send him back to his Texas cotton patch. You're the one who sent Kennedy to Washington. You're the one who put the present Democratic administration in Washington, D.C. The whites were evenly divided. It was the fact that you threw 80% of your votes behind the Democrats that put the Democrats in the White House. So... You got to realize he's speaking um, in the 1960s. The Democrats were controlling everything. They had a big majority in the House and in the Senate. And of course, they had the uh, the White House as well. Just keep that in mind. When you see this, you can see that the Negro vote is the key factor. And despite the fact that you are in a position to, de to be the determining factor, what do you get out of it? The Democrats have been in Washington, D.C. only because of the Negro vote. They've been down there four years and they're all other legislation they wanted to bring up. They brought it up and gotten it out of the way. And now they bring up you. And now they bring up you. You put them first and they put you last because you're a chump. <laughs> Said that chumps. Yeah. Democrats always want to come around and pander to black people when they need the votes. White people, I would say 50, 50. Democrat, Republican, but black people, 90 percent clip, 90 percent clip. I said it before, guys, black people have been voting for their own demise for decades, decades. And I hope this video actually reaches out to some black people when it comes to uh, midterms. Say, hey, Malcolm X got a point here. Maybe I shouldn't be voting Democrat. A political chump. In Washington, D.C., in the House of Representatives, there are 257 who are Democrats. Only 177 are Republicans. Wow. In the Senate, there are 67 uh, Democrats. Only 33 are Republicans. The party That's that you backs controls two-thirds of the House of Representatives and the Senate, and still they can't keep their promise to you because you're a chump. <laughs> oh boy. 
Anytime you throw your weight behind a political party that controls two-thirds of the government and that party can't keep the promise that it made to you during election time and you are dumb enough to walk around continuing to identify yourself with that party, you are not only a chump, but you're a traitor to your race. <laughs> And what kind of alibi do they come up with? They try and pass the buck to the Dixiecrats. Now, back now, in case you don't know what the Dixiecrats are, Dixiecrats are nothing more than Democrats, Southern Democrats. Um, they actually established their own party like in the late 1940s. And um, it was Democrats trying to run on uh, the state's rights uh, ticket. And after that party dissolved, they went back to being Democrats. During the days when you were blind, deaf, and dumb, ignorant, politically immature, naturally you went along with that. But today as your eyes come open and you develop political maturity, you're able to see and think for yourself. And you can see that a Dixocrat is nothing but a Democrat in disguise. You look at the structure of the uh, government that controls this country. It's controlled by 16 senatorial committees and 20 congressional committees. Of the 16 senatorial committees that run the government, 10 of them are in the hands of Southern segregations. Of the 20 congressional committees that run the government, 12 of them are in the hands of Southern segregations. And they're going to tell you and me that the South... Yeah. Nothing more than Democrats uh, planning... Pandering to black people to get them to vote for them, to vote for their own demise. Malcolm X right on the money about this. He called he called black people political chumps for voting against their own voting for their own demise. Really said it before, guys, why would you vote Democrat? And let's be honest, folks, if you actually know uh, black people, I'm not talking about the uh, the wolfsters out there like um. A Cory Bush, you know, those far leftists. Black people have a lot of conservative values, a lot. And it just baffles me that they vote at a vote for Democrats at a 90 percent clip. Now, I did a previous video, guys. That's, I said that I said this in that video. There was a poll out there. Where. Only 25 percent of black people thought that Democrats were racist. 25%. They thought 75% of Republicans were. Think about this, man, because the Democrats, man, they got a great PR team out there. A great PR team. I mean, Joe Biden has been saying racist stuff for 50 years. And black people still went out there and voted for this man. He told you, if you don't vote for him, you're not black. But black people just ignored that. And went out there and voted for him. Didn't even make him apologize. Nothing. They voted for this man. And what he said was blatantly racist. Trump has never said anything like that. And if he did. Boy, you can best believe that the Democrats would have been eating that up. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. Hey.